Have you ever wondered how the ancient dynasties of Vietnam laid the foundations of a culture that has survived through centuries? Today, we journey back in time to the second century, to the birth of Vietnam under the dynastic rules. From the second to the 15th centuries, a series of dynasties ruled the land that is now modern Vietnam. Each dynasty left indelible marks on the culture, language, and architecture of the country, shaping the collective identity of the Vietnamese people. Let's start with the Lai Dynasty, a period of significant cultural and architectural development. The Lai rulers, known for their commitment to Buddhism and promotion of education, established the Thang Long Citadel, an iconic complex that served as the political center of the country for more than a thousand years. Fast forward to the Tran Dynasty, renowned for their military prowess and resilience. The Tran rulers successfully defended the nation against Mongol invasions, leaving a legacy of courage and determination that still resonates in the Vietnamese spirit today. Then came the Ho Dynasty, albeit short-lived. It was notable for its architectural triumphs, including the Ho Citadel, a remarkable fortress built entirely from large stone blocks. The Li Dynasty, known for its Confucian influence, was a time of cultural flourishing. It was during this era that the Temple of Literature in Hanoi was constructed, the first university in the land dedicated to Confucius and scholars. Finally, we arrive at the Nguyen Dynasty, the last of the Vietnamese dynasties. The Nguyen rulers embraced technological advancements, modernizing the nation while preserving its cultural heritage. They constructed the imperial city of Hue, a grand complex of palaces and temples, symbolizing the power and sophistication of the time. These dynasties, with their enduring monuments, set the stage for a culture that would withstand the test of time. They laid the groundwork for a resilient nation, rich in tradition and history, a fascinating tapestry of dynastic rule that continues to captivate travelers from around the world. Let's continue this intriguing journey through the annals of Vietnamese history. Stay tuned for the next chapter, the expansion south under the Le Dynasty. Oh, what if I told you that the Le Dynasty's southward expansion unearthed a forgotten civilization? As we delve into the 15th to 17th centuries, we find the Le Dynasty, a period marked by a significant southward push that brought to light a civilization lost in time, the Cham. The Le Dynasty, known for its military prowess and strategic diplomacy, began to extend its reach southward, a move that would shape Vietnam's cultural and historical landscape forever. This expansion into the Cham territory was no easy feat, but the dynasty's determination and courage paved the way for a deeper understanding of Vietnam's diverse cultural identity. Nestled in the heart of this southern territory lies the Mai Sun Sanctuary, a testament to the grandeur of the Cham civilization. The sanctuary, a complex of intricate brick towers, was a place of worship for the Hindu deities. Its architectural splendor and sculptural mastery reflect the Cham's advanced artistic and cultural capabilities. The serene beauty of the Mai Sun Sanctuary, juxtaposed with the historical tales of conflict and expansion, paints a picture of a civilization that thrived amidst adversity. The Museum of Cham Sculpture, another remarkable remnant of the Cham civilization, offers a window into this long-lost world. Housing a collection of over 300 artifacts, each piece tells a story of the Cham's spiritual beliefs, artistic traditions, and daily life. From intricate stone sculptures to delicate ceramics, the museum echoes the echo of a civilization that once flourished in the heart of Vietnam. The Le Dynasty's southward expansion was more than a military campaign. It was a journey of discovery that unearthed the hidden gems of the Cham civilization. It was a chapter in Vietnam's history that underscored the nation's resilience and cultural diversity. The expansion of the Le Dynasty brought to light a civilization lost in time, adding another layer of depth to Vietnam's rich history. A journey into this era is not merely a history lesson, but an exploration of the complexities and nuances that make Vietnam the captivating destination it is today. Do you know about the last dynasty that ruled Vietnam, leaving behind a legacy of architectural marvels? Let's take a journey back in time to the 19th century, to the era of the Nguyen dynasty, the last royal dynasty of Vietnam. This period, spanning over a century, is known for its grandeur, cultural richness, and architectural marvels that still captivate visitors today. In the heart of the Nguyen dynasty's reign was the imperial city of Hue, a stunning complex of temples, pavilions, moats, walls, and gates. The city was more than just the political heart of the dynasty. It was a symbol of power, 
a testament to the dynasty's architectural prowess and a center of cultural and spiritual significance. As you wander through its magnificent structures, you can almost hear the whispers of a bygone era. Hue, however, is not only known for its imperial city, it is also home to the royal tombs, final resting places of the Nguyen emperors. Each one is a unique masterpiece, reflecting the personality and reign of the emperor it honors. The tombs are not mere grave sites but elaborate complexes, complete with temples, pavilions and beautifully landscaped gardens, all intricately designed and carefully planned to honor the emperors in their afterlife. The Nguyen dynasty, with its grand structures and cultural richness, brought a distinctive era of royal rule in Vietnam. The dynasty's influence extended far beyond its reign, leaving a lasting impact on the country's cultural identity and architectural landscape. Even today, the imperial city and royal tombs of Hue stand as enduring symbols of the Nguyen dynasty's power and sophistication. As we explore these historical landmarks, we don't just discover the past. We connect with the spirit of a nation, its rich heritage, and its journey through time. We understand the resilience of a people who have preserved their history and culture through centuries of change. The Nguyen dynasty with its grand structures marked the end of an era of royal rule in Vietnam. Ever imagined how French colonial rule shaped the face of modern Vietnam? Our journey takes us to the late 19th to the early 20th century, a time when Vietnam was under French colonial rule. This period, marked by both conflict and cultural exchange, left an indelible mark on the country. First, we turn our attention to the Condau prison complex, located on the remote Condau Islands. Originally built by the French in the late 19th century, this penal colony was infamous for its harsh conditions and brutal treatment of prisoners. It served as a chilling testament to the oppressive nature of colonial rule. Then, there's Hoelo Prison in the heart of Hanoi. Known sarcastically as the Hanoi Hilton by American POWs during the Vietnam War, it was initially a prison for political dissenters during the French colonial period. The stories echoing from its walls speak of the resilience and courage of those who fought against colonial rule, but it wasn't all about prisons and oppression. The French influence is also visible in the architecture and urban design of Vietnam. The French Quarter in Hanoi, with its wide tree-lined boulevards and elegant colonial-era buildings, is a prime example. The Grand Opera House, the stately government guest house, they all reflect the aesthetic sensibilities of the French, blending seamlessly with the local Vietnamese culture. The French also left their mark on Vietnamese cuisine. From the ubiquitous baguette, a staple of Vietnamese sandwiches, known as banh mi, to the coffee culture that thrives in the street cafes of Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, the culinary landscape of Vietnam is a delicious testament to this fusion of cultures. But above all, the French colonial period was a time of transformation for Vietnam, a time that set the stage for the country's fight for independence in the 20th century. The legacy of this period is a complex tapestry of conflict and culture, oppression and resilience, that continues to shape Vietnam to this day. The French colonial period left a lasting imprint on Vietnam, shaping its cities and influencing its culture. Can you perceive the courage it took for a nation to rise against its invaders and reclaim its freedom? As the dawn of the 20th century unfurled, Vietnam was under the iron grip of foreign rule. Yet, the Vietnamese spirit was not to be subdued. In the heart of Hanoi, Ba Dinh Square became an emblem of this indomitable will. It was here in 1945 that the legendary Ho Chi Minh declared Vietnam's independence. Today, Ba Dinh Square stands as a silent witness to that pivotal moment, its vast expanse echoing with the echoes of the past. The fight for freedom was not confined to the cities alone. The verdant island of Cat Ba bore witness to the unfolding struggle. Nestled amidst its rugged terrain, the cannon fort served as a strategic vantage point. From this outpost, Vietnamese soldiers kept a vigilant watch over the surrounding seas, ready to defend their homeland. This time was marked by extraordinary valor and resilience. Ordinary men and women, fueled by the shared dream of a free Vietnam, stood up against formidable adversaries. They fought not just for their own freedom, but for the freedom of generations to come. Their bravery continues to resonate across the decades, inspiring awe and respect. Yet, the path to independence was not without its hardships. It was a time of sacrifice and loss. Families were torn apart, lives were lost, and the landscape bore the scars of conflict. But through it all, the Vietnamese spirit remained unbroken. With each passing day, the dream of independence grew stronger. The tide of history was turning, 
and by the mid-20th century, Vietnam finally reclaimed its freedom. The echoes of that triumphant moment continue to reverberate through the streets of Hanoi, the hills of Cat Ba, and the heart of every Vietnamese citizen. Vietnam's struggle for independence stands as a testament to the nation's indomitable spirit. Through the trials of history, Vietnam emerged resilient, its spirit unyielding, forever etched in the annals of time as a beacon of courage, resilience, and an unwavering desire for freedom. Have you ever contemplated the scars of war and the resilience of a nation determined to heal? As we journey through the mid-20th century, we delve into a tumultuous period in Vietnam's history marked by the Indochina Wars and the nation's eventual reunification. The Indochina Wars, a series of conflicts that spanned over three decades, deeply impacted Vietnam. The First Indochina War saw the country grappling for independence from French colonial rule. The Second Indochina War, more commonly known as the Vietnam War, brought the United States into the fray, further escalating the conflict. The War Remnants Museum in Ho Chi Minh City offers a sobering look at this era. The museum houses exhibits that lay bare the atrocities of war, showcasing military equipment, photographs, and personal artifacts. It serves as a stark reminder of the human cost of conflict, but also stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Vietnamese people. Following the end of the Vietnam War, the country set on a path to reunification, a process symbolized by the Reunification Palace in Ho Chi Minh City. Previously known as Independence Palace, this iconic building was the site of the official end of the Vietnam War when a North Vietnamese army tank crashed through its gates in April 1975. Today, the palace stands as a monument to peace and reconciliation. Venture outside the city, and you will find the Ku Chi Tunnels. This vast network of underground tunnels played a crucial role during the Vietnam War, serving as hiding spots, supply routes, and living quarters for the Viet Cong. Today, they offer a unique insight into the strategies and resilience of the Vietnamese fighters. From the War Remnants Museum's stark depictions of conflict, to the Reunification Palace's embodiment of peace and reconciliation, and the Kuchi Tunnel's testament to strategic ingenuity and resilience, this era paints a vivid picture of a nation's struggle and determination. These battlefields, now silent, echo the tales of a nation's struggle and eventual triumph. This is Vietnam in the mid-20th century, a time of war, resilience, and ultimately, reunification. Can you envision a nation rising from the ashes of war to embrace progress and prosperity? As we journey through the late 20th century to the present, we witness Vietnam's remarkable transformation, a period known as Doi Moi, or renovation. Following decades of conflict, Vietnam found itself at a crossroads. A shift was needed, a new direction to propel the nation towards economic stability. The answer was Doi Moi, an ambitious economic reform program unveiled in 1986. Its goal? To transition Vietnam from a centrally planned economy to a market-oriented one. The result was nothing short of extraordinary. The ripple effects of these reforms reverberated across the country, sparking a period of rapid economic growth. Agriculture was revitalized, industries sprung up, and trade flourished. The skyline began to change too, as modern buildings rose, painting a picture of a nation on the move. And nowhere is this transformation more evident than in the vibrant cityscape of Ho Chi Minh City. Once known as Saigon, this metropolis is a testament to Vietnam's progress. The city buzzes with energy, its streets humming with the sounds of commerce, its skyline punctuated by towering skyscrapers. It's a city of contrasts, where the old and the new coexist harmoniously. Traditional markets still thrive, nestled between sleek office buildings and high-end boutiques. Street vendors peddle their wares, their stalls a stark contrast to the glitzy shopping malls just around the corner. Through it all, the spirit of resilience and progress remains palpable. This is a country that has not forgotten its past, but is firmly focused on its future. Its economy continues to grow, its cities continue to evolve, and its people continue to drive forward, embodying the spirit of Doi Moi. From the bustling streets of Ho Chi Minh City to the tranquil beauty of Ha Long Bay, Vietnam's story is one of transformation and tenacity, of a nation that has navigated the winds of change with grace and grit. Today's Vietnam, with its bustling cities and thriving economy, serves as a beacon of resilience and progress.